against some of these beefier heroes just because typically it's a sustain that you need like a as long as it used to be of course as well kind of like i know it's nothing new but there's too many runes on top lane like ws it... is on trezam mars is able to find an opening where trezam's in trouble they need to cut down the tree and they won't be able to do so fast enough with a drag back from WS and simultaneously. It's bottom lane though, where Crush and CZY in conjunction together find our first blood. I <laughs> thought they were going in 550 there. movement speed whenever he gets rebounded. How long's it last for? Five, Five seconds. seconds. Very cool. With one skill point. He's got two, but. Illusion. All right, they might run it to WS. Oku's going to lead him, but the Yule stepped up. Should be a very easy pick off for the lads on to Summit. To the there we go. We've been lacking some kills so far, but... And you steal away the bounty. Just a little bit of that extra added bonus. But not sure how effective that is going to be overall, as oh, that sentry is just out of range of the Observer Ward. Really nicely placed down there previously oh, by Ponyo. On WS again. TP is going to be coming through from Ponyo. We'll see if the Soul Rip health is going to be enough to keep the Marcy alive. It's a bunch of health back, and now with the life still coming out as well, WS looks to turn it, and now they can chain this into the kill on CZY. Great reactions from Ponyo, but Crush, oh no! He's going to miss the Spear. He's got Trezam nearby to be able to offer the damage and the control, but the Orchid instantly preventing any more spells from the Mars in that skirmish. And what do you know? They've got the artillery as well. Blip. Bit of a miss on the globs a couple times, so Trezam should be able to make it oh. away. No, he's not going to be able to get able there. To get away. Yeah. Need to address the fact that, well, honestly, for both teams, the map is dark as hell. It is nighttime. Both teams oh, don't really know where move can happen. Arena mid lane. Undying is going to be killed off to start the fight. They're looking to turn around though on Atlantis. Mortimer Kiss is getting laid down along with the boot from Wonder Boy. They did steal the kisses though, so Rubik starting to chuck in the damage from afar. They'll solo target down Ayad for the moment. WS is going to jump in for the instant telekinesis to answer the initiation. And on WS, he's just getting burned apart, unable to catch up to Mercury. They're controlling for the moment, the but WS, look at the damage! Gets rid of the last track. It will come at a cost at his own life, but Atlantis, they do find two kills out of this skirmish, and they're both on to cause. It's going to be Ayad. Along with Wonderboy considering about the, the mid lane less rack instead, but yep, back to top they go. We're able to run down Crush. Wonderboy with this Orchid has been pretty on point. 4 0 and 1. I would. Yeah, they, they don't want to make it too transparent with setting up too early around it, but just have a look the at all of the... Nice fear back. Further onto the higher ground of Summit at the moment. They're going to be forced to drop the rock as well. WS has been a real big issue to be able to kill him. He's going to jump in. WS doesn't give a damn. Recognizing a lot of the abilities have been used prior. But now with Mercury showing up, even unknown as well, they will finally put a stop to the Marcy's life. The they go back in though. Wonderboy well. Wonder combos out. Let's just able to reposition though. They stole the boat as well. Looks like it won't be required for this fight, but maybe they can stick around to, to use it for the siege. Yeah, and this is the movement I was wanting. It's just such a free tower to be able to pick it up for Mercury. He's got complete safety. Doesn't even have the high ground ward to be able to play around. But when you're playing as these supports on Atlantis right now, it's so hard to be able to defend this tower because it, there's just no ease or the first usage out of Wonder Boys. Marcy still a little ways away. And they feel like with at least two of them finished up, they can look to make this. Look at attempt. this. Smoke on smoke. Crush is going to jump in. Arena still on cooldown for five seconds. The boat's going to slam down to die. They will be playing with the rum buff, but Ponyo just tanking up the abilities for the moment. They're going to look to deal with the tombstone. Arena holding them back so Mercury can charge into the middle, but Mercury's got no assistance to the north. The left finally able to retreat to the high gun. Has the hang on WS again. The damage for the Marcy is something that someone and not respect and they just bring them all down. Mango Rose to clean up along with Wonder Boy, and they should be able to finally deal with the Warlock as well as Atlantis, a pricey team fight. They won't get Trezam, but in the end, they do come out on top. Nothing crazy. He just got speared about through five different trees. So. Oh, I'd love to see it. Both teams now need to be talking about how this next fight's going to occur around Rose. Or at the stage of the game where that's the big next objective for either team is CZY. They're going to be able to start onto the Marcy. That is a gigantic kill if they can get it. 
are no protected for the BKP for the moment, so they can turn to deal with Ponyo next, and this should open up the pit with a double pickoff that some would have found. That was a little bit slow on the use of the Soul Rip again on uh, on Ponyo there. I mean, he had the Tumblr's toy to be able to gap close a little bit, didn't end up using it. And they again do this Rubik so annoying with the tree dance. He's got to see Ponyo. Oh, he's off the mark with a tombstone. <laughs> tries, to, tries to kill the trees. He's going to give the tombstone over to CZY now, which is nice. It, it did already place it down, but Mercury running into the lane. They don't have a T2 to TP2. They don't have the outpost as well, so... Mer he's in a lot of trouble here on Mercury. It doesn't seem like there's anything he can do to keep his life. Trying to play with the Bloodstone. With that spell life still, but not going to be enough, so... Wonder Boy. First one they spot out. CCY along with Crush gonna start. BKP's been expended from either side. The Rock's gonna buy a little bit of space for Let's Track for the moment, but they're able to get rid of him. They won't have Mercury for this team fight. Turn their attention to Unknown. The BKP and the Amanda should be enough for Unknown to be able to get out of the Orca, but they drag him back to his own death. Beautifully done from Atlantis. They might be able to get a plus one as WS. No hesitation. Jumping onto the high ground, being able to catch out Trezam as well. And that's four down. Atlantis lose no one. WS coming in huge there with the off lane. Marcy. Here we go. Smoke up from Atlantis. I jump on Noren. They get the hex before the attribute shift. What can they do to keep him alive? A telekinesis chuck back to the higher gun. Unknown's going to be okay. But he's popped his BKB more defensively, so they can't stay around. And they're in two minds. Crush, he wants to move into the fight along with Trezam. It's a decent combo of their ultimates. The arena locking Mango Rose in, so Mercury can pump out the damage. Arena soon to expire. He's got the BKP for the second life as well. The Morphling. He's got a waveform and aggressively, but he doesn't have anything to use to protect himself for CZY. Still have the telekinesis on cooldown. And now they can swarm inside the base one by one. Summit. They'll crumble under the pressure. Mango Rose, a triple kill. And that's seeming to be the end. Mango Rose, well, why not try and give this man a rampage? Needs one more to add to the tally, and he might be able to find it. Uh, nice little time with the mischief dodge, but there we go. He should be able to do it. BKB turns back on Mercury. Mango Rose double? gets the rampage, gets the double rampage as well to close out our game one. Beautifully done from Atlantis and some well-deserved tips too. For sure. I mean, being able to recover that laning stage that obviously didn't go quite as close to what they were expecting, uh, it really just goes to show what a skilled carry he is. And yeah, it, it seems like a pretty decent draft for Summit so far. They have addressed their lack of damage early on. I, I really do like the fact that they've gone down this Bristleback route instead. If it gets super late, though, I do trust Atlantis to be able to take this one out. I mean, do it for themselves, then what he's actually getting from the salve that he had to buy just so he could get the experience. So his net worth isn't actually scaling all that well, even though it's only two and a half minutes in. This pool will help, though. Top lane. Little bit of damage onto Drazan. They don't have the hammer to follow up, and meanwhile, Unknown, he's pushing back Ayat as well. Looks like he has the protection of the T1 tower. I mean, meanwhile, Trezam, yeah, he doesn't have the safety net. WS is going to run into him into the tree line, hammer back up, and the offlane Dawnbreaker finds our first blood. So things are a lot more challenging, but we'll get the bottle refill. It's really about like that second item timing that some are going to be playing around. The uh, Vanguard, Top lane. Aghanim Scepter. Oh. Run to the Bristleback. It's a lot of damage on Known, and wow, they actually blow him up. I wasn't expecting the the Q from Aya, the, the Aether Shock, to do as much damage, but he's got two points in it, so beautifully done. Bristleback going down for the first time this game. He's going to go to Trezam too, WS. It's a lot of damage, Trezam. He's standing the Celestial Hammer for the moment. He's able to sidestep that last slash, and now with the Bristleback teeping in, they should... Oh, no, not going to be able to cut down the trees and... Chase down WS, you should be okay. Step lively now. Your is that the regen, middle tower is under attack. He's got some tangos coming through to him, so he should be fine. Lane. Ponyo. Nice little wraparound. CZY along with Mercury were considering about diving. The, it always seems to be them invading, right? It's very nice torrent being able to land through on Mercury. <laughs> Just being as annoying as he can. Does he drop the ward, though? Deny. 
<laughs> he tries to give him the little Duke spot. Not gonna be the case. Bottom lane, Mango Rose, early battle trance, and they've got the Zeus Thunder God's Wrath thing able to. WS nearly has his Solar Guardian though. Maybe they could look to make another play around the battle trance. It's risky though. You don't want to be dying and then TPing back using battle trance. Mid lane, Wonder Boy. He might get Mercury. Have some brawling going on to try and secure one of the power runes. It will be CZY getting the arcane out of Wonder Boy's hands, but does come at the cost of his own life. And meanwhile, bottom lane again, Mango Rose. The battle trance is not going to get lucky, unfortunately, but the root still should be able to close the distance. They have the Solid Guardian this time. And there we go. The root at the last second to lock him inside the circle of death. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you're the ones that need to win this game. You can't be making plays like that. Crush is in trouble top. I had... Oh, they're going to use Serpent Wards for it. All right. You'd love to keep this to help out with the Tower Siege, but obviously they feel like they need the damage to bring down Crush. Meanwhile, Mango Rose as well is... You also have Mercury that can make the plays, and we're going to see that be the case at the moment. WS trying to get the perfect timing with a Celestial Hammer to drag him away from the boat, but will not be able to time it. Meanwhile, Mango Rose has got to be a bit cautious as well. Might have to pop the Battle Trance early on. He's got Ayad along with Ponyo nearby. Rockets dropped on all three. Beautifully done from Trazam. The spell casting so far from some of this team fight is going to result in multiple kills going their way. They even got Crush as well, wrapping through the river just to make sure there will be no escape from the Shadow Shum. Why actually make sure to walk on through there, considering they killed three they heroes? WS. Make an attempt on Mercury. They got Wonder Boy nearby, but the arena as well in the arsenal. It's dropped too late though on Crush. The heavily jump. Minimizing the well the cast range there. Cast range, cast range. Mango Rose will get away. They have this ward on the high ground. I had a Mango considering about invading. You've got to be cautious though. Mango Rose. They're gonna go for Crush instead. I had should be nearby to be able to prevent the spear. Bulwark's proving to be a bit of an issue for the moment. Mango Rose there with a battle transport. It's going to drag him further under the tower. So Summit, they're starting to make their way top. A Serpent Ward's trying to block off the entrance, but Bristleback, he's already been able to enter. What a beautiful nice rock from Trezam. There is no follow-up for the moment. WS is in. They're going to look to avoid the Bristleback. They're doing a pretty good job of that for the moment. I had he'll be caught out nonetheless, though. An unknown, he should be able to chain this into another kill. WS though protected for the BKB. He doesn't have a TP to make it out. He's going to be relying on the Celestial Hammer to come back up shortly to make it to the low ground. But with the BKB soon to expire, oh, he'll just make it away. Ponyo beautifully done, holding back Mercury with the Fire Blast. It's still sticking around. What? These guys are crazy. WS. They've got Boatman. You don't have BKB. What is going on? The Unknown's going to move in. He's really tanky, but... When you've got two claws surrounding the, the Dawnbreaker, just the respect doesn't seem to be there. I don't even really feel like you need it, though. If, if I was in his shoes, I probably would be considering going that Agony shot. Smoke's got that out. Look, Look at Crush again, man. The Mars gets the arena onto multiple heroes. Wonder Boy's able to jump out, though, and there's no follow-up on Crush. The cause they were taking the T2 Tower top. Let's see if they're still going to continue with this fight. Unknown's going to charge directly into the middle, but they don't have any way to lock him down. They stole the Serpent Wards as well. They're going to, again, look to avoid the Bristleback, trying to deal with Trezam to the left side. You cannot continue with this fight, though, if you're Atlantis. Bristleback would charge down the Shadow Shaman. They might be able to run into Wonder Boy as well on the right side. Ayad's giving as much space possible to get Wonder Boy out to safety. <laughs> Mercury's hunting though. Phase boots up in a couple seconds. Doesn't oh. get the X though. And he should be able to jump I down and get the TP. No! He didn't make it to the low ground and he gets on his TP. Oh, Wonder Boy, what have you done? He's trying to play through the tree line. Mercury, not again. Oh. The arcane. D oh my oh. god, that was the. <laughs> like, he could have been out so much, Edie. I made them work for it. The hardest way for him to get out, but at least he does. We have kind of seen the, the name of the game here in regards to the fights on Atlantis. Like, their read has been pretty solid where you just avoid the bristle. Get rid of the Rubik, get rid of the Warlock. They're going to try again, but yeah, nah. Unknown's going to make sure that's not a possibility. He's got ages, You are not man. killing this guy. Like you said, he's got ages, and Unknown just charges down one. 
Turns to deal with Ponyo, but doesn't have the detection, so it's going to consider WS or oh, Wonderboy instead. And uh oh, look at the Zeus. Just gets some distance away the jump, but the last quill stack is going to be enough to get the kill. They'll deal with the ages. I don't think you're going to kill him again, though. He's got the BKB for the second round, and Mango Rose is going to turn to try and deal with Drazam next. Rock's going to give him a little bit of space. Once again, though, Mango Rose, now they're able to hit him from the front, but unknown. Oh, no, you can't take this fight. Charging on four, making sure the Troll Wallet just gets those quills stacking up, and... Well, he's up to nine now, Mango Rose. He needs to get out, but he doesn't have an avenue to escape the aggression from Summit Gaming. Evading into their jungle, and Summit will come out on top for another team fight. Honestly, I don't even hate this Ag Shard that is considering. Maybe it just feels like it can help him play the side lanes a little bit more, getting closer to the, the 20. How realistic is that going to be, though? Summit, they have a lead at the moment. Bristleback? Taking a lot of damage to start. This is a decent fight for Wonderboy. We, we see him down to the low ground being able to spam out the abilities, but they only tickle really unknown. Down to half health. You've always got Trazan playing behind him. Holy Locket, Ag Shard. Unknown's not an easy man to kill at all. Now they've got Crush to be able to follow up as well. And Crush is going to jump in. Not the greatest arena. The reaction from Mango Rose protecting him for the BKB, but you can't continue this fight on Atlantis as soon as the BKB is on cooldown. The troll... He doesn't have a free fight to charge into the middle. And Zeus is out of mana. I mean, oh, top Mercury. side, WS, he's the one that's getting caught out here. Yeah, he's got the blink, just jumps straight into the lane, and Manga Rose, nothing that can be done. Ayat as well. They're trying to take this team from it from Atlantis. Wonderboy has been able to freshen up in the resources, but you are not killing Unknown. I, it just, it's not going to happen. You can try as I much exactly as possible, just bumping your heads against the brick wall. The definition of insanity. But Atlantis, it is not going to work out. As Crush, he finds his use as well. A beautiful spear back into the bristle back in Unknown. He can chain this into the rampage as Summit Gaming tie up our series. Sending us to a game three. What a bristleback performance from unknown. Yeah, pretty good bristle performance. Uh, like, again, it, it was honestly a pretty similar story to what we saw in game number one. Just the, the teams were flipped, right? Laning stage didn't go. Select your heroes. Oh boy, I, I, I really don't like troll. And I, I think they're lacking a lot of stuns as well to, to amplify this hero is going to be WS on the offlane plus, so I already know you're going to say Summit, even though you you liked their lineup before you saw the Tusk 3. I'm going to follow up with that and, and say Summit as well. I'm just trying, struggling to make sense of this uh, this very early game, to be honest. I mean, again, Mango Bros has been able to get a lot of this solo experience. A lot of that is on the back of Ponyo, just being able to manipulate Dying the lanes a little bit here. Crush, attack. please... Not having a fantastic time either. I mean, how many times do you see a, a troll warlock with five CS having to kill himself to a neutral creep but still coming out on top in terms of the last hits? Hmm? Ponyo? Gonna be in a bit of trouble for the moment. They get the toss away and Mango Rose is gonna try and turn onto CZY. Doesn't get lucky with the root. We'll have the whirling axes back up shortly, but CZY steps back to the safety of the tower. Are they going to go back? Hang on, CZY, Jesus, man, you're playing with a low health ball, but Crush, he's got the combo ready to rock and roll with, but Mango Rose 2 has the whirling axes. Crush, he's going to be cautious now. Avalanche to hold back the damage, and it's going to be Atlantis that gets both kills up top. I feel like they've got plenty of damage as well on Summit, so I wonder if Mercury is going to go that little 10 talent for the brief fire, just to make sure you're constantly able to spam it out. And then when you go up against the Troll Warlord, sure, he might ult you, but then you're just like, all right, whatever, who cares? Top lane. There we go. An easy kill for Summit. They do have the rotation coming out from WS. Should be able to get CZY. WS has only got one point in the tag team, but at least has the war response to be playing with. So a nice solo kill here for the offlane Tusk, and he's going to get a bunch of mana back as well. So his second in net worth, WS is having a very good start to this game. It's a deny onto the Siege Creep, but this is exactly what he wants. He wants to go for a dive. Feel confident. <laughs> They're going to ink swell in CZY. Why not use it on the Shaman instead? Battle Trance, it's already on cooldown regardless. And let's see if they look to shove out the lane now. They did lose their Catapult, unfortunately. They do have the Serpent one still as a potential. Meanwhile, top lane though on the river. 
Three heroes from Atlantis are able to surround, crush, and bring down the offlane Dawnbreak. This is a lane that Coddle can't really leave. You know, you, you have this easy capability to spam from afar. It looks like they weren't required an extra hero to rotate down bottom to protect this this tower of the, the threat of this open ward. So honestly, Atlantis doing a pretty solid job, WS. Lane? Looking to jump in, revealing the blink. Mercury has got the backup though, and with the Solar Guardian. It's a beautiful timing with a snowball. It's gonna be able to dodge out the initial sun from Crush and they're gonna get out with their own lives as well. As meanwhile down bottom though, unknown. It does come at the the use of the Omni Slash, but they do get a kill onto the position five Ponyo. They also see Mango Rose farming under the ward. Shazam, he's got the Inkswell back up. He's going to look to jump in with the Solar Guardian, but the stuns, Mercury doesn't get in range, so Crush won't have any effectiveness out of the ultimate, but at least they do run into the Tiny. Now, it is probably going to reveal that there is a ward placed around the Triangle, and you are so happy with that trade on objectives. Give the Ages over to Unknown. They're going to look to Smoke as well. Smoke on Smoke. They could just go top though, man. They don't CZY, have they he's like... going to run into them for the moment. They've got the ward. CZY jumps into the middle. Oh my lord, the Shaman playing with fire right now, but they still haven't got the kill. They'll finally get rid of the support, but it comes at such a grave cost. There's now WS. He's going to be chased down next. A blink up in three seconds. Can they cancel this? And you bet they can. The Breathe Fire Fem are far, but still... So I'm going to blink down to the right side. Mercury! Oh, just too short. Coming through, the important part of that kill as well is it also gives back the Spirit Vessel charges for Ayad. Still such a big component of being able to take out this Stormbreaker, plus the DK. Although DK is playing... <sighs> Alright. Good past couple of minutes here from Atlantis. They're getting a couple kills across the map. You see the supports aren't really playing with their bodyguards in the cores. Like Grimstroke and Shaman are both very weak. And hang on, Ponyo just... Instant Omni Slash for the Juggernaut as soon as Unknown just scouts out the tiniest positioning. They get another kill though, like Mercury going down. Wonder Boy throughout that fight, you know, instant remnant to the Shaman. They're going to be able to run into the Dragonite. Spirit Vessel will force his BKB and, and Mercury is not respecting this. So he's going to go down instantly to start. Crush has got the backup starting to connect. Unknown's going to jump in. They might be able to turn this back around now. Unknown. It's going to be it's cautious. Gone. Over the ages has expired. So they're going to go for Trazam instead. Phantom Bray is going to buy him some time with the Omni Slash as well. Look at the bashes coming out. Wonderful. Bash. Oh my oh god. My Lord. Multiple bashes from Unknown. Gets the blink away to escape WS. They'll turn to Trazam instead with a four staff still being on cooldown. Unable to make it over the shards. So Atlantis. Going for that bash. They do see Mango Rose. That ward inside the base. They're going to instantly try and TP back, but I don't think they're going to be fast enough. Oh my enough. god. Man, Crush is doing massive amounts of DPS, and they're going to toss him closer to a target, leashing multiple heroes together, trying to deal with a Grim Stroke. They should be able to do so easily enough. Wonderboy protected for the BKB, but they're looking to escape. They do not want to continue with this fight. Summit, they are starting to part their way from bottom here. to mid, and like you said, the cavalry has arrived. Unknown's going to try and target down the keep of the life for the moment, gets the bash at the last hit. So got Aya, it's gone. It's got the only slash as well. There's no snowball target. WS needs somewhere to go. It's going to be okay for the moment. Unknown doesn't have enough slashes to cut the tusk into pieces. Dives again. This is a Grimstroke and a Shadow Shaman that we're talking about here. Not the greatest armor pools to be able to play around. So if you're able to get it onto those back lines and particularly take Mercury down... Mid lane. Uh, oh line. no, the Blast's going to reveal their position. <laughs> he's starting to path his way to the right side where the rest of his reinforcements are located. But Mercury, he's going to be killed off the moment to start. Crush is kicked That's away. It. Beautifully done from WS, but Crush instantly re-enters the fight. I think you need to get out now on Atlantis. You can't stick around for a longer drawing out team fight. And that's going to be the case. They're so just going to sacrifice WS's life, but unknown. He's already looking to chain this into more kills. But difficult to close the distance onto Ayad, though. It's just a single kill, right? And it still costs them a lot. He uh, wasn't able to survive even with that extra little bit of just abyssal blade. And then you probably don't have that same level of Crush survivability. Lane. He's going to go in instead. They start onto the Dawnbreaker, but he jumps Mango Rose and the Troll Wallet. Well, he's able to stand toe to toe. Mango Rose starting to stack up the items and Summit. They're not respecting this carry on Atlantis. They'll chase down a second kill. There's also a DD in the river as well. So maybe they can get an objective off the back of this. It's a big fight, though. They've got a ward on a cliff, so beautiful spot from Atlantis to take this fight. 
GTY, how do they get the jump? I know. He's going to lean into the middle onto Wonderboy. Ember's got an opportunity to pop the BKB. He's going to move down to the left side instead, trying to target Trezan. The They're doing a very good job to hold the back. And meanwhile, Crush, he's dueling over WS, protected for the shards at the moment, a kick away. Do they have the damage to bring down the Dawnbreaker for the moment? The BKB is soon to expire. Meanwhile, Unknown, just a solo use of the Omni Slash, but Unknown's going to be in a bit of trouble. Manga Rose still playing around with the double damage runes, finally able to bring down one target, tries to chain this into a second kill as well, but the Bash just raining down onto Mercury to hold the back, and Manga Rose gets the attack speed, pumping thanks to the fervor, and the troll starting to really be an issue here for Summit. Like Wonderboy should be able to get it. We're going to see Trezam. Uh, yeah, the Ward of the River able to scout out the Grimstrike's position. The rest of Radiant, nowhere to be seen to help out Trezam. He's able to get the ultimate Ooh, off at least. I know he's going to jump into the middle as well with CZY. It's a lot of damage to start with the Blade Fury. Don't deal with the Tiny. They're going to try to try and break down Wonderboy. Look at the snowball. Wonderboy gets out to the right side. The Lotus Orb is well to protect him for the moment. Oh, no, no. Oh, the Lotus. Lotus Ash onto the Lotus Orb target, so it's doing no damage. They just don't have anything in the tank now to stand their ground. Or maybe they do. I know. Gets the triple kill. He's going to try and move this into more killers now. The Lotus Orb, almost the MVP, but it wasn't meant to be. They will. Oh, it's a pretty terrible glyph as it, well, it, I have to say. They cut the lanes though, so they're going to have backdoor up. They might not have heroes. Unknown at Co. Diving out of the T4 Towers. WS gets the kick back, but it, it doesn't matter. It looks like WS has put himself now in a compromised position and he's going to snowball further towards the lineup of Summit. They can set a formation up, so as soon as the snowball expires, they can get the kill. They did an incredible job to cut the waves, but now they bleed multiple kills into Summit's favor. Seems like different uh, people on the team think that they're capable of different things. Again, just playing bodyguard right now is Crush over that creep wave, but I really don't think a position 5 tiny is going to be able to stop anything, and indeed, he's the one back inside the base. Have go. they done it? Have they knocked TNC out? Oh, they're even going for tier fours. Trying to bait out some of these buybacks. They don't have them on two of the important heroes to make this a 5v5. Oh, Coddle just got his. Sold the tome. Oh, and Throne's exposure, you're gonna make a play! Triple it's along with the Elder Dragon form! Someone no just objective base gaming, they're gonna do it! Someone are gonna do it! They'll take this series! And with this securing their position in Division 2 for the next EPC. And as a result...